How's it going YouTube? Crypto and WO here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing some 911 phone calls, scary 911 phone calls. It's 2.07 in the morning right now, and I thought it would be a perfect time to see some scary phone calls. So without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. That's the emergency. Yeah, there's a baby in our garbage can. And I thought it was a cat I was outside just a minute ago. And I, I got my mother-in-law to come out and we left the trash bags off and there's a baby in the garbage can. Is it alive? Yes. Okay. Is it breathing? I think so because he sounds like a cat in distress. And get the baby. I get him out. Neither one of us are tall enough and if we tip it, the trash is going to go over on top of him. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, just stay okay. on the phone with me. It's a really good concern. It's a really good concern. I was thinking, like, the first thought I had was just take the baby out, but that's a good concern. Um, I don't know. What would you guys do? How old does the baby look? It looks newborn. I mean, it can't be more than, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we've got some help on the way. Just stay on the phone with me, okay? He's gotta be newborn. I don't know. He's in the trash. Okay. Is is it awake? He, he's moving. I can't see that his eyes are open. His head looks a little bruised on one side. Okay. I don't even know if it's he, but I'm assuming. Is he bleeding? He's not bleeding, but I can see. Okay. Come on. Somebody buried him in our garbage because I was out taking the trash out yesterday too. We don't have very much in there. But they they put him underneath and I thought he was a cat. I was out here earlier and I thought there was a cat in our bushes. We've got some help on the way. I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Just stay on the line. I'll tell you exactly what to do next. I can't reach him because I'm not tall enough. Okay. Can, can you see if he's breathing? He is breathing and he's making noises. Okay. And there's still the cord on there, so if oh. he's you're born, he's still got an umbilical on his belly button. Okay, just stay on the phone with me. I'm going to get us through to the Unified Police Department oh, as well. Oh, God bless this lady. God bless this lady. My goodness. Oh. God bless this lady, honestly. Give the kid a chance. Okay, we've got the neighbor over and we're going to get him out of the garbage can. Okay, and that's the end of the entire phone call. Um, that's that's an eye opener. That one's an eye opener. It's it's really like it makes you think. What would you do if you put yourself in this person's shoes? <laughs> I think she reacted in the perfect way. I like that she said she's too short and she didn't want to reach into the can because she was afraid that she was gonna tip the garbage over covering the baby. And that's a really good thing to be worried about. That was that's a thought. I'll be a hundred percent honest. I didn't come across my head. I really want to know if this lady adopted the baby. To be honest, if you really think about it, this lady saved that kid that baby, um, newborn, she saved them. And it's like immediate motherly instinct kicking in. And I could understand if she didn't adopt the baby, 100% could understand that. Cause like people usually adopt when they're ready and if they're seeking to adopt, and if not, then sometimes it's not right for them or sometimes they're not ready or sometimes it's a little overwhelming. But I really hope that, but I really hope everything went well in the end. And I hope the person that left the baby in there rots in hell because that's, that's absolute trash. <sighs> Anyways, let's go on to the next call. Do you need the police or the ambulance? Um, yes, yes, ma'am, I, I need the police. To what address? What's going on there? Um, a murder has been committed. Oh, a murder has been committed? By no, who? no. By me, ma'am. By you? Yes, ma'am. Who did you murder? I murdered my wife. When? Around seven this morning. Okay, and what's your name? Checkinson from Claire. Checkinson? Yes. Okay. Is she still there? Yes, she's still here. What did you kill her with? Gone. You shot her? Where'd you shoot her? Uh, I shot her in the head. Is she in the bathroom or is she in the bedroom? Where's she at? She's in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom? Yes. Do you still have the gun? Welcome to the comment section. We got some snacks. 
Got some cookies, got some milk. Enjoy the comment section because I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna be sitting here just eating some trail mix. Not sponsored. Can, do you have it in your hand or where is it at? It's on a dining table. All right, we've got somebody coming out there to talk to you. Why did you do this? Um, we got into an argument and she came at me with a knife. And so you shot her? I mean, I was like I could defend myself. She was just on the... She was really... She and that's the end of that phone call. I don't know what the heck was going on. I don't know the, the backstory behind it. I don't know what the argument was about. That dude sound cold hearted, bro. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, my house. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a uh, 22 revolver. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. Okay, I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I wasn't, it's weird. I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been kind of, uh, planning on, uh, killing for a while now. Because of this initial... Bruh! I wasn't really angry, I've been planning on it. Mom, where's your emergency? Uh, hello, hello. Is everything okay? Uh, my mommy and daddy. Uh huh? I think there's a bullet on the floor. There's a what? And there's, there's blood coming out of my dad's mouth and he fell off the bed. He did? Where's mommy at? I, uh, I don't know, I think they're dead. What do you mean, sweetheart? I don't know. Okay, your daddy's on the floor. How old are you? I'm five years old, and I have a dog in the house. Okay, baby. Okay. And Let me just tell me right over to you. Did you did you go in your mommy and daddy's room? Uh huh. That's what. Oh my God, he's in five. He's five. Oh my God, put. I just can't even imagine. You can't put yourself in the shoes because the kid's five. The kid goes. And like the way he explained it, he's like, there's bullets on the floor. Blood is coming out of his dad's mouth. And he dialed 911. All over the place? Yeah, all over. There's blood on the plant and blood on the floor. Oh my goodness. Do you have your little doggy with you? And so and I love this operator. Just I have to put that in there. This operator, um, she's doing a really good job communicating with the kid. She's not scaring the kid. She's actually comforting him as all of this is happening. You got some cats too? Three cats and one dog. Okay. Are you the only are you the only one there besides mommy and daddy? Oh, I said mommy and daddy and they didn't even answer. Oh sh Okay. Okay, what I want you to do, honey, I want you to stay on the phone with me. What is your name? Oh, that's a very pretty name. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is a beautiful name. What's your doggy's name? Liza. Okay. And what made you wake up tonight? There was... I think I had a gun shot. You heard a gun? Yes, and I see a bullet laying on the floor. I think it's a bullet. Really? Mm -hmm. Who has a gun in the house? I don't see a gun, but I'm scared. Oh, sweetheart, I will not let anything happen to you. I love you. I love you, Miss Operator. Whoever this operator is, I love you, Miss Operator. Can you send the deputy back? I promise I will. You're only five years old. Mm -hmm. You are so smart for five years old. Wow! Do you are you off of school this week? Um, no, I go to school next year. You do? Oh my gosh, you're not even in kindergarten yet? No. Oh, what's your doggy's name? Liza. 
God bless the operator. Some people are probably gonna get mad at me for just munching on like trail mix while I'm watching these videos. Maybe it's a little distracting, but kind of think of it like popcorn. <clears throat> like when you go to the theaters, you have popcorn with you. Probably a very good calming experience. This is, it's really calming for me. I just, I just wanted to point that out. I hope someone's taking really good care of that kid. Grandma? Bro, that's the most unexpected thing ever. Okay, stay on the phone, okay. I don't stay up, bud. Stay up, bud. Stay up, bud. Talk to him. Talk to him. I need bigger sweatshirts. Okay, did it just happen? Are you there? Keep talking to me. Keep talking to me. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay